Hey guys, now you've probably looked at the title of this video and thought, what the hell am I on about today? Or maybe even freaked out. Now don't worry, it's essentially to do with suicide, but I haven't tried it again. And if you hear any animal noises in the background, blame Echo because he's down here and he won't leave my side during the video. Now, this video might not apply to hardly anyone. It might only apply to the people who have actually committed suicide or who have attempted it and just not succeeded. It might even apply to some self-harmers who get the sort of same feeling when they self-harm. What I mean by the suicide feeling is the freedom you get. You know, not necessarily when you plan your suicide or anything like thinking about it, it is when you literally take and make that step when you've actually tried to commit it. You guys know that I hate with a passion to talk about my suicide attempts because it just makes me get super, super upset and it brings back all the horrible feelings that I hid away and I don't necessarily want to talk about, but this week has been so, such, such a hard week. I have found it so hard. It's, I don't know what it's been, but it's been a chore. Literally dragging myself out of bed every day has literally felt like it zaps every single part of energy that I have. And it's just been an absolute nightmare to live a day. And I've missed that suicide feeling, hence why this week's video is all about the suicide feeling. Now, the suicide feeling isn't me wanting to commit suicide, it's me wanting that feeling back. When I took the tablets to commit suicide, once I'd taken it, you know, you get that freedom feeling. You know, it's, you know that you've taken it and it's gonna free you from all this pain and heartache and just madness you can just be you know you've made a choice and it's just a relaxing feeling it's like all this baggage and weight off your shoulders has gone you are you know you have made that step to commit suicide you've taken something or you've you know whatever you choose to do you get that freedom feeling like you're finally able to breathe it's like you can breathe on your own for the first time in for me it was years it just felt so good to know that it was ending that all the heartache and pain and just the agony that I've been through was going away and I would never have to deal with it again and this week I have missed that feeling. I have feel, felt just lost and fed up and nothing has seemed to cheer me up. It's just been a constant battle this week. And I have like earned for that feeling of freedom and just being able to breathe without struggling. And it's really knocked me down and I've been thinking about that suicide feeling constantly. And I don't worry, I'm not gonna go and take a bunch of pills and commit suicide because I'm not at that place anymore. But I miss that feeling. I miss that feeling I had once I took those pills, knowing that I'd taken them and I was just waiting for it to kick in the effect. I miss that feeling of freedom and being able to breathe without feeling like someone is sat on my chest crushing me. I miss being able to laugh freely without something in my head telling me that it's wrong and that it's bad. I just miss, I miss being able to be a human being without all this agony and pain that's weighing me down. Just this week has been a, a complete nightmare and I have cried more than ever. I have barely slept. I just have not been in the mood to do anything. I've just been at a total loss and I've just not wanted to see the day. It's just been an absolute horrible and I haven't been this low 
in a while and it's just killing me not knowing what's caused it. I've just a complete loss. All the progress that I've made recently has just gone and I'm back feeling with no sort of tips on how to keep going and it's just been a nightmare. But one thing I have been doing constantly this week is taking my dog Echo for a walk. Because you know, he needs to go for a walk, especially now we don't have like a back garden, now we, li we live in a flat and everything. And he needs to go for several walks a day. I needed that time to get out of the house and to lose myself in a walk or listen to music on the walk and just, you know, run around with Echo and have fun or walk or just get lost in several streets and panic about because you don't know how far you are away from home and just feel like you are able to do that you know going for a walk is such a normal activity and I find it so hard because I am paranoid that I'm gonna do something wrong on that walk or I'm gonna get lost or you know something bad's gonna happen and I'm so paranoid and so anxious about it and I know that's my anxiety coming out so every day this week I have made it my sort of ambition and goal to go for a walk it's been lovely to just get out and that has been my one constant thing this week that I've sort of looked forward to and got me out of the house and I come back and I'm exhausted because running around with a dog is exhausting but I also feel a little lighter when I've done that and that is one thing that has sort of kept me going this week and sort of just been that light at the end of the tunnel that I needed to keep me boosting along. Now I know some of you have a clue what this suicide feeling is or you know some people get it when they self-harm. I mean I've got a similar feeling when I've self-harmed in the past, you know, when you cut or do whatever self-harm tactic you do and you get that release. I used to have to do it before I could go anywhere because I was so anxious and it would just eat me alive and I did it before I went anywhere and as soon as I did it, it's like a release. You feel like you can conquer the world, you know, you you feel good and it, it's an, that's why it's such an addiction because it feels good, it makes you feel like you can do anything as long as you have that little tactic. So and that's a similar feeling is that freedom you get and I really have missed it and I'm just at a complete loss of what to do because nothing of the same tactics that I've used in the past seem to want to get me out of this hole that has got me in this week and every day is just a nightmare to get myself going. I just don't want to see the day. I don't want to be there. I just want to disappear. And not in the suicide way, but just I want that freedom back. I want that freedom of being able to breathe without feeling like I'm being crushed. I just want to be normal. And I know there's nothing like normal. There is no such thing as normal. But it's this week when it's really hit me that I hate having a mental illness. And you know, in the past I've said, you know, you're not your mental illness and all that, but you do, you get a bad week to where you just hate with a passion that you have a mental illness. And this past week has been mine, I've hated it. And I just don't know what to do to sort of kick me out of this big hole that I'm in of depression and anxiety nothing seems to want to get me going so if you guys have any tips for me it'd be really appreciated because I'm just completely lost and could really use some help this week and I know a few of you have known that I've had a really crap week because I did post a status on the Facebook page about giving up and I'm tired and I am you know this week I am just tired I'm tired of Fighting. I am tired of having to talk about why do you think this has happened and why do you feel like this. I'm tired of having to do tactics just to get me out of the house. I'm tired of people judging me because I have a mental illness and 
it's just really been a tough week of feeling like just feeling absolutely crap so I'm sorry this video is me practically pouring my heart out about how crap I feel but you know what this is what the group's for I promise to be honest about how my week was going and that how my week has been going it's been really really crap and down and it's been a lot of crying and just sadness so if any of you guys have a tip for me it would be really much appreciated and hopefully when I see you next I will be in a much better mood and not bring the rest of you down so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon